What's going on, fellas? Today I'm doing a full cover of Rain. What is Rain Effects? How to get Rain Effects? How to install and set up Rain Effects properly so you can have Rain in game, which comes from this extension. How to fix Rain Effects to work because a lot of you fellas have struggles and issues with Rain. So I'm gonna cover absolutely everything about Rain today. It's gonna be probably quite a long guide, but trust me, don't skip the goddamn video. Stay around and you have your damn rain working finally. Because a lot of you guys were getting lost with rain and so on. So I'll cover every single possible issue that you can have. So then we're going to go into how to get an insta wet mod as an addition. Because it's awesome mod and I will explain some stuff about it. Anyways, first things first, fellas. Uh, before I debunk some myths, what is rain effects? Rain effects is just an addition which comes from lights patch. Then you ask yourself... What is Lights Patch? Lights Patch is the paid version of Custom Shaders Patch. When you go here to Settings, Content Manager, uh, Custom Share Patch About and Updates, you can see you have these public free versions, right? So these are the free versions which are available. Then the preview is just the paid version. So the paid version comes with some graphic updates, blah, 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 a lot of other uh, thingies and extensions. Uh, like uh, improvements on some of the extensions and it comes with an extra extension which is called rain fx so a new option you have here and this is what brings the real rain fellas now to bust some myths as i said this comes with the paid csp version it, a lot of people have misunderstood that from somewhere i don't know from where that rain will come with paid content manager version which you have this orange button somewhere right here you buy a key you insert the key you get the full version of content manager no guys con full content manager version just gives you a lot of extra cool thingies like uh, challenges here blah 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 uh, you have some more content mod enabler a lot a lot of stuff i'm not gonna cover all of them and other people have understood something else that Rain either comes with Soul or comes with Pure. No, guys. Soul and Pure give you this dynamic weather. And uh, Pure comes with the crazy looking good 3D Sky Domes. Rain is not included. It's even written in Peter Ball's Patreon that Pure or Soul does not bring Rain. Rain comes and you can get it from Ilya Yusupov, AKX for Fabs, Patreon. When you become a patron, you can see preview... It is included right here and you have to download it. This is how to get rain. And this is, finally, I'm going to bust all these myths. So that's literally the whole debunking of stuff. Now, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you once we have all this debunking of myths out of the way and you know how to get CSP from where to get it and what it is. Let's go ahead and show you how to install. Now, installation is pretty simple. Even Ilya advises to install it manually, so I'm not going to show you drag and drop. A lot of you will drag and drop and you will not have issues. Therefore, oh, sorry, I'm in administration mode and contamination. Anyways, we're going to go ahead, fellas, and uh, I'm going to show you how to install it manually. So for this purpose, a lot of you probably don't know where your set of course of folder is. You go to Steam, right-click, Properties. Now, once you go to Properties, you go to Local Files, you go to Browse. There you go. And my advice is once you find your set of course of folder, go one folder backwards, right click, pin to quick access, because you use this folder a lot. Now, how you install manually the lights patch and why I advise manually is just manually is always safer. And uh, you want to open this, links will be down in the description for WinRAR and everything, fellas, for the lights patch, for everything you need. You open this archive right here, you grab all these files and you drag and drop them in the empty space you can use this small empty space right here because i made the folder smaller or you can just make the folder a bit bigger now we're gonna wait if it asks you to replace you replace boom all right now it's installed so i'm gonna close content manager just to refresh forgot to close it I'm gonna wait a bit boom here's content manager we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna go to custom share patch and about an update so you can see I'm on 180. I mean, I used to be on 180, so I just replaced the version. Anyways, but this is how to install. Another way to install is uh, drag and dropping, but this comes with a bit of consequences sometimes, fellas. 
which is not recommended. So when you drag and drop it, it might work, it might not work. When you click install, you might get can't install two things at once or it might actually go through like now. If you get can't install two things at once, make sure to watch my video on how to fix that. I'm not gonna delay and prolong this video. It will be already very long. So once I've showed you how to install, let me show you fellas now why your rain is not working we're gonna cover and it will be quite long so we're gonna cover absolutely every single thing some of you might have a minor issues you might forgot to enable it here and there some of you might have done another mistake and some of you might have screwed up so or pure installations which is insanely common uh, like people contact me on a daily basis that their so and pure is not working or something like that and they work directly with rain so if you screw up so on pure installation I can guarantee that your rain will not be working. You hear the noise of rain, there will be no rain, something like that. Now, first thing, fellas, you go to settings, Acero Corsa applications, and make sure all your sole applications are enabled. You can see four apps. If you don't have four applications right here, because I've seen that, that means you screwed up the sole installation and you're missing an application. I've seen people installing on the pure. You need so, guys. Remember, install so on pure. You need both. Then, if your apps are enabled and that's out of the way, another thing that you might have forgotten, fellas, is particle effects. Make sure your particle effects is enabled because otherwise you might not see raindrops. This could be another possibility. The third possibility, fellas, that you have missed something or screwed up is that your weather effects is not activated or is just old controller scripts old weather script so make sure when you open here you're using the final controller script the latest one and when you open here you're either using the latest so or the latest pure depending if you have the paid version of pure of course so i'm using pure because i have the paid version right and uh basically that's that make sure your uh extra effects is very good to have uh so make sure this is uh turned on as well now once this is out of the way, fellas, and you have uh, enabled post-processing filters, everything is in check here in the video. Now, it only leaves us that your rain effects and your rain in general is not working because you screwed up the soul and pure installations. I'm going to show you now how to fix that. I know for the most of you, fellas, you're probably pretty annoyed that in every guide I'm showing up that so on pure uh, uninstallations and uh, reinstallations uh, i do understand that but it is what it is these are the core mods of everything csp so pure these these they just go hand to hand if you screw up one thing it will screw up the other thing so now without further ado let's say if you hear only rain sound or your rain is not working at all we're going absolutely on a full cleanup at the moment what we're gonna do first first fellas is i'm gonna delete my csp so i'm gonna delete csp then i'm gonna close content manager now we're going into so i'm gonna uninstall so and pure so first we're gonna start with so now you see we're gonna open the archive we're gonna open so then we want this so uninstall bat which a lot of people ask me but i don't have so uninstall bat let's say you have so here if you don't have any of these mods, don't worry. This will be the easiest part for you. You can just install them uh, once I finish an installing. Now, if you don't have this so and install bat, you can just do 200 IQ trick, grab this file, drag and drop it here. It's just a script to uninstall so, and then replace. If it asks you to replace or not, then run so and install bat. It is, it's gonna ask you to, do you want to delete your so configs? Press no, we wanna save our configs. There you go your soul is now deleted now what you can do is you grab these files and now we're going to install soul so once we've deleted it grab all these files drag and drop right here wait a bit replace boom there you go so is installed please fellas make sure to follow step by step one-on-one -on -one what i'm doing do not do things on your own if you don't know what you're doing this is how to install safely and manually bulletproof these mods without screwing up something now it's pure open your pure if you have pure purchase this is for the people that have pure purchased so once you've purchased pure 
Now we need to find uninstall pure bat. Now again, if you don't have uninstall pure bat, grab this file, drag and drop it right here, and uh, we just need it to uninstall stuff. So, and I will explain why I do it this way. This is the safer way. I'm doing it in the most optimal way that is going to work for absolutely every single one of you. Run the uninstall pure bat. Now we're going to find our folder for Cero Corsa. Then we're going to go to games, Steam, Steam apps, come on, a Cero Corsa. Boom. Pure is uninstalled. Absolutely the same thing. Grab all these files, drag and drop them into a empty space. Make sure it's empty space. Drag and drop. Wait a bit. There we go. Place. Okay, so we've installed all these thingies and let's see if we did our job correctly. We're gonna open our content manager and now we're gonna, before we check everything, we will install CSP because I've deleted it. It's very important to also reinstall your custom shader patch. We're doing a full mod cleanup, fellas. I'm telling you, this is an absolutely 100% fix of your stuff. I can guarantee you, you've screwed up somewhere. It's 100% user error every single time. There has not been a person from all these hundreds of people that came to my Discord to ask for help. I've gone in the, their PC or with screen share or team viewer, and I fixed their game. It works every single time. You can literally ask the people that texted in the general chats or uh, stuff. And you'll see I've fixed every single rain issue. Now. Once we've installed CSP, make sure to update to the latest version. Then we're going to install Lights Patch. Grab this file here and drag and drop it right here. Again, if it gives us, can't install two things at once, fellas. Of course, you can just close this. Right-click Content Manager. Right-click again. Run as Administrator. My screen goes black because it asked me to uh, allow it. Now we're running Content Manager in administration mode. Then you click these three dashes, install from a file, and you select Lights Patch 180 Preview 115. You open it here, then go again back here, install. That's how you install in just in case it doesn't allow you. Content Manager gives you the problem. Can you install two things at once? Now, let's see if we did our job correctly, fellas. Now we're going to go we make sure that we have the latest CSP version. We have preview version, which contains rain effects. So now we're going to check. Rain effects is on. Particle effects is on. Let's see if we installed so on pure correctly. We're going here on weather effects. Boom. Latest controller script. Boom. We have pure, the latest one, and we have so. So everything seems absolutely perfect. Now let's check the other stuff. We have rain effects, particle effects, then we have extra effects, everything's on. Everything seems on. Let's check our applications. We're gonna go to a set of Corsa apps and let's check. So, so weather app, so config, so custom weather, and so planner are on. So as well, of course, make sure enable Python apps is clicked. So it's ticked as well. So you can even touch these applications. Then we're gonna go to video. Make sure if you're using pure, just use one of the pure PP filters. If you're using so, just check the, the so PP filters or uh, or whatever, whatever PP filters you are using. Now for the people that drive in third person, make sure fellas to go here in the rain effects option, check chase cameras and make sure this is enabled. Another important thing, make sure FX AA is enabled and as well, with the chase camera here, the small or large drops are enabled as well so that you can have a rain as well. Make sure to check out these options right here, disable for screenshots and other stuff so that you can make sure your rain is not disabled. Now, fellas, once everything is out of the way, we're going to go to drive and we're going to test the rain. Now, before we jump into the wet mode, fellas, we're going to go ahead and test if our rain is working. My biggest important advice is use original Kunus car I'd advise you to even use the same car as I do. It's called a Bart. I call this the doggy car because it literally looks like a dog. It has these red mirrors as the ears and stuff. Now, you pick a Bart 500 CAC or whatever it's called. Then you pick Spa and we're going to go ahead now in the game and check everything. Why I advise you, by the way, to use this car is because some cars that are modded, they do not support particle effects. They don't have the script. 
and everything to support uh, the raindrops on the windshield. You might see them on the side, but not on your front windshield. So make sure this is working properly. That's why we are going to use a Kunus original car. All right, fellas, we're into the game. So let's see now if our rain is working. So what you want to do is you want to go here on the top right. You want to click on all apps and we need a pure config and the pure soul planner. So once we have the pure soul planner, and uh, we are using, of course, an uh, original pure PP filter or any other PP filter. How to enable your pure, just in case you don't know, is by going to clouds and make sure clouds render method is one. Now, once this is out of the way, you have your pure everything enabled. You want to click on the soul planner right here. You can close this by clicking again. So you want to open this and we're going to click on heavy thunderstorm. So... Let's see what's going to happen, fellas. Do we have rain? We are even going to increase this to maximum. Rain amount 100%. I'm going to put the wetness to maximum, fellas. There we go. As you can see, fellas, we have rain perfectly working. And you can see that even we have audio, everything is working. That's that about in-game. Now, let's go ahead and check what is wet mod. So, wet mod comes with a lot of cool stuff makes the road soaking wet puddles a lot of uh, new cool stuff so we're gonna go ahead and install that now how to get wet mod fellas is you want to go to race department links will be down in the description and a lot of you ask me how to get a free account you want to click here and register then you want to scroll till you hit the bottom and you click join with basic account here and here is actually a button then you fill this information right here and you register then once this is out of the way fellas want to close this let me go into my account uh, once this is out of the way you click download and the wet mode will start downloading it might take quite a while keep this in mind now fellas once wet mode is downloaded what you want to do is you want to open wet mode and you want to grab all these files of course uh, without the instructions you want to grab these two files drag and drop them right here on the empty space and then you wait a bit replace if it asks you to replace all right there we go now once we've installed wet mod i want to cover a very important uh, information for the people that don't have the paid version of content manager which that uh, how to immediately know is you have this orange button right here a switch to full version it will say uh if you don't have that just use this generic mod enabler now you want to open this jsgme once you've opened the generic mod enabler what you want to do is you want to click on wet mod and you want to use the right arrow it will say enable selected mod and this is just an um, third-party application that you're using just a generic mod enabler now for the people that have the full paid version what you can do is you don't actually need the generic mod enabler so i'm going to disable this just for show purposes you want to go to content manager and you can go to content and you can use guys a built-in mod enabler within content manager it comes with the paid version now you see right here immediately show me that i've disabled wet mod i can just click enable and now it will enable wet mode. So that's a very cool feature that you have with the full version. And uh, that's that basically, fellas. So let's go ahead now in the game and uh, check it out. <laughs> 